Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, All Things Trek 47, bienvenidos. I'm glad you're here today, thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't done so yet, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. Today we're gonna go ahead to part two of our series, play along series, and I wanna go over how to equip items onto your ground character and to your starship. And also how to change ranks within the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Dale. All right, as you can see, we're here in space dock. We um, just finished talking to Admiral Quinn and Admiral Janeway after completing the tutorial. Um, the ship that um, was Captain Taggart's ship is now our ship, and we have a field promotion to captain. However, the, the actual rank will be lieutenant. So if you'll notice, my character has an ensign pip on his uniform. Well, I will show you how to change that. Remember that we went to the character creator in the last video. Well, we could go to the character creator now and we could give him his proper pips and um, give him the two pips that denotes that he's a lieutenant. So let's go ahead and do that now. So if we're on space dock here, talking to Admiral Quinn and Admiral Janeway, we can go ahead and go to the right, walk around. So right now we're just kind of trotting, well, really just a fast paced walk. If you want to run, what you want to do is you want to hit the shift key and the forward key, whichever, whatever the forward key you have mapped is. Usually the movement keys are W, A, S, and D on your keyboard. W will take you forward, A will take you to the left, D will take you to the right, and then S will take you backwards. So hit that W key and the shift key at the same time, and you'll see that your character now runs. So let's run over to the tailor. So we're gonna go here where it says requisitions, uniform supply, personal equipment, and com commodity traders. So right here at the uniform supply, that's where we're gonna go. So go into this area, take another left, and right here where it says uniform supply, you'll see the tailor. So looks like we have Cardassian tailor here, kind of like Elam Garrick from D Space Nine. So in order to interact, you can click the button here that says customize clothing, or you can press the F key and it shows you that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the F key. Right here where it says tailor, you click on that button. And then this will bring you to your character, but also your bridge officers. So you could actually take your bridge officers and switch out or change your uniforms and outfits as well. So right now we're just gonna do the captain. The main character here, Solik, we'll click on him. This is bug sometimes, by the way. See how we're on him, but it's still showing my bridge officer. If that happens, just kind of click on bridge officer and then go back to captain and it should clear that up. All right, go to where it says modify. Right here, this button. Click on modify. And eventually, there we go. It will take you to where you can customize. Now right here, if you want to customize the look of your character, again, because you didn't like what you did the first time, this is the place to do it. You can change the hairstyle, you can change eye color, all that kind of stuff with your character, just like you could at the beginning. So right now we just want to go to uniform. We like this uniform that he's wearing, the Odyssey uniform, so we're going to keep it. And all we're going to do is we're going to change the rank. Right here there's a section that says rank, and if you'll notice it says ensign. So you click on there, and then you're going to go where it says lieutenant. And then you could also do lieutenant junior grade if you wanted to for his character, but um, we're going to go ahead with full lieutenant. As you level up, by the way, the ranks also level up, so you'll be able to give them the, rat, the captain um, pips later on, the commander pips later on, stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give them the lieutenant rank. We'll click on that and then go to purchase. You're not actually spending any in-game money or anything like that on it. Um, as you see right here, it says total cost is zero. So you're just going to hit purchase. And there you go. He's got two pips now that notes his lieutenant rank. And then we'll click exit. <laughs> and as you can see, on his uniform, he has the two pips. 
So now you're ready to go and captain your ship as a lieutenant with the field commission of captain. All right, so we're gonna run down to this area right here. So we're gonna go ahead and keep moving forward. We'll go down this ramp, hang a right, and go down this ramp again. All right, so let's look back. Looking back, see this area with the Starfleet or the Space Dock Operations um, uh, wording and then the logo of the Federation? Behind that is where Admiral Quinn's office was. So that's where we went and we reported to Admiral Janeway and Admiral Quinn. So we went past that. We went to the right in this case, our right, and um, the uniform section was up here. And now if we were to come straight down this ramp, it'll take us to where the ships are, where you could requisition your ships, right? In this case, since we're starting off as a lieutenant, we will be using the, the uh, Miranda class ship that we had in the beginning. Um, let's check and see if there's just anything else available at this rank. I doubt it, but the person we want to talk to is the ship vendor right here. And we'll hit that F key again. We'll go to get a new starship. Now, be aware that the requisition, the new ship requisition area is a little bit complicated. There are a lot of ships in the game and navigating through this is not super easy. It's very clunky. They haven't updated this in in a while and I think they could do better um, with this system. Um, it's just really, really clunky right now, but everything's on there and I can show you how to navigate through it at, in its current iteration. So as you can see, this is the ship that we're gonna have, the Miranda. So that's the ship we'll be flying around with. By the way, they recently updated that model. So the look of the ship is, is really amazing. I mean, it looks, it looks really accurate. It looks really good. So it's a good looking ship. It's a good starter ship. But if you had um, Dilithium already um, amassed in your account, you would be able to actually purchase some of these other ships. Now, a little while ago, Cryptic made it so that any captain can basically pilot any ship in game. So a Klingon can pilot a Romulan ship or a Federation ship or a Klingon ship. Um, a Starfleet officer could pilot a Klingon ship or Romulan ship as well as a Federation. I mean, they all could pilot each other's ships, which is a um, really interesting change that they made to the game, but it's kind of neat. So. You could fly a warbird, warbird as a, um, you know, as a Federation captain, which I think is interesting. Um, here we have a TOS design ship that's a starter ship. If you had, again, the dilithium for it, you would be able to purchase this ship. And there's more. You know, we have a Constitution refit class, an escort class ship. This is a Saber. Um, we also have a science vessel. Now, these ships right here, they're only available at the Lieutenant Commander rank. So right now we're Lieutenant, so we couldn't even operate those ships. So later on, you'll be able to actually um, requisition one of these ships for free. So at the next rank, we'll be able to choose either a Constitution class ship, a Saber class escort, or a NOAA class starship, science ship. So um, they're all really good designs. I like all three of them actually. So but it depends on what you want, right? And we'll talk a little bit about that later. Right now, we're gonna stick with the light cruiser, and I'm gonna show you the um, the way that you're going to equip um, your weapons and things like that on your ship. If you hit the I key on your keyboard, you're gonna see an inventory. In your inventory, you're gonna have all these slots, which are these little squares right here that you see, and then each square, gives you the ability to hold an item. And the items that we have in game right now are some um, class one phasers. Actually, they're not even class one. They're just the, the very base class zero phasers, I guess that you get in the start of the game. But you'll see that we have actually a couple of weapons here that are a little bit better than what you start off with. This phaser beam array, and then this console that allows your phaser beams to be more powerful. You also have some batteries. 
So what batteries do is that they bolster either shield power or weapons power. Well, at least that's what these two do. You have other ones that actually bolster your um, your engine powers or your auxiliary power as well. But these two, in this case, we have a shield battery and then we have a weapons battery. So they'll bolster your shields or they will bolster your weapons. So you might want to actually equip that on your ship because they give a little bit of a bonus to those things and it might help, right? So let me show you how to do that. So we hit I to go into the inventory. And now what you want to do is you want to hit the U key. And what you're going to see is basically the character and the ship and all the bridge officers, as well as a spot for your skills, your traits, um, the bridge officer stations and your reputation. We'll go over those things a little bit later. Right now we're, we're just focused on your character and on your character's ship. So let's start with the ground character. So I don't have anything to give him that's gonna be better than what this character already has. So since there's nothing there, we could just kind of look at it. You could remove, for example, that was a, um, this is called a body armor. So you can put body armor on your character. I just, you know, took it out of the character, therefore it's not equipped anymore. And then if you want to equip this body armor to that character, you could drag it Put it on just like that or you can double click and double clicking what it does it does two things the first one is it um when you double click on it if it's in your inventory it will actually equip it to your character if you double click it from your character it's also going to pop up the other options you have to fill that slot so as you can see my bridge officers all have body armor so if there's extra body armor that's just sitting around in your inventory you'll actually see that on here as well. You'll be able to scroll through that and choose what you want to equip for your character. So let's just keep the body armor that he had before. Same thing with the weapons, right? If you have a better weapon that shows up and that you grab in your inventory and you want to equip it to him, let's say that that one showed up in the inventory after I was playing a mission and that was my reward. You just take it, you drag it, and you equip it to one of the weapon slots on your character. And then that character will be able to use that now. So you're gonna be doing this um, probably a little bit during the game as you continue to go through the missions and episodes and you gain more rewards. You're gonna be equipping things pretty much after every mission, more than likely, either on your character or on your character's ship. So we have a couple of um, a weapon and a console that we wanna equip on our starship. So we're gonna to go to our starship, the USS Essex in this case, and we definitely want to switch out this base phaser array for this slightly upgraded phaser array. So what do you do? Do you have to unequip this one first? Not really. What you can do is you could actually drag and drop over it. And then it's asking if you want to equip it. Just click OK. And see what it did was it took the one that was on there, took it out of the ship, put it in your inventory, and then it switched it out with the new one that you wanted. So see, now we have two phaser arrays that are better than what this ship started off with. So that's neat. Now right here, you have different areas. You have your weapon slots, forward and aft weapon slots. You have your deflector, impulse engines, warp core, shield. You have devices. Under devices is where you'll put your batteries. So in this case, we have that shield battery. We're gonna put it there. And then we have the weapons battery. You'll see this little number next to it. The number denotes how many of these you have to spend. These are not um, reusable. They are consumed on use. It says so right there on the, kind of in the, in the details of the um, device. It says consumed on use. So once you click on it once, it'll spend one of those batteries. So you'll have two left over and then one left over and then until you have no more. These drop, these drop pretty frequently in game, so you'll be able to just pick them up um, quite a bit and just switch them out over time. And there are other batteries and other devices you could use also, and we'll talk about those when we get to them. So right now we have an open slot, and it's a tactical console slot. Well, we were able to get this um, Mark I tactical phaser console, and what this does, it has 3.8% phaser damage to your phasers. So... 
It's going to make your phasers hit a little bit harder, so you're definitely going to want to equip that on your ship. We'll put it in the tactical tactical console, excuse me, and um, there you go. That'll help our phasers do a little bit more damage. Not a ton, but a little bit, but every little bit helps. All right, so you'll notice that we have some weapons that were starter weapons in the game. We don't want those taking any slots in our inventory. Inventory slot is precious, and there's very little of it and you're gonna be acquiring a lot of things in the missions that will fill up those slots pretty quickly. So what you wanna do is you wanna be able to get rid of them. There's a couple of ways you could do that. Um, you could open up your inventory again by pressing the I key, and then you go to the um, either the ground equipment or the space equipment that you wanna get rid of. You right click, and then you click discard. It'll ask you if you wanna discard of it, just click okay. Now be careful not to do this with weapons that you actually need that will be upgradable that will be an upgrade from the ones you currently have. Um, but if it's the older equipment, you can definitely go ahead and um, discard that. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna click discard for all of these. Another way that you can get rid of these is by going to the equipment vendor that sits right here. We're gonna press the F key. You can go to any of these, requisition, starship, weapons, equipment, it doesn't matter, just click one um, of these first two slots. Instead of buying though, you'll see that we have a tab for selling. So we're going to click sell. In this case, we're not going to get any money for that equipment because it's starter equipment. But you could also sell um, later rewards that you get in the game if you want the fleet or if you want the... Um, the energy credits. So if you want the energy credits, you can sell your items for energy credits instead. Energy credits can be used in game to buy other items. So in this case, we're not going to get any money, but it's a fast way to get rid of these from your inventory. And from here, you can just double click, double click, double click on every item and that's it. You're done. Instead of right clicking, discard, okay, right clicking, discard, okay, you can go here and you can just sell, quote unquote, sell them and just get them out of your inventory. If you press the I key again, you'll be able to see that in your inventory, those pieces of equipment are no longer there. And it's completely free and clear for new and better equipment. All right, I hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful on how to uh, change your rank in game and how to equip different weapons and consoles to your starship and to your ground character. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, live long and prosper.